Hello everyone, welcome back to Neo Kills Gaming. We're back with some more New World, and in today's video we're going to be talking about housing. How you can get your house, and all the perks that come with it. So first up, in order to buy a house, you need to have at least rank 15 in the territory that you want to uh, purchase a home in. You'll also need level 20 to buy your first house, level 40 to buy your second, and level 60 to buy your third house. Now this house I bought here for 1800 gold. And I got some furniture and everything in it. One of the better things that you can benefit from here in the beginning are your wooden chests. Each wooden chest that you place in will add 200 to your overall weight that you can store in that area. So that is pretty beneficial there. Every now and then it will update also with the rankings. It will just show the points that you have. Since I just did all this, um, it's still showing I have zero points. And the person with the most points will be the one that's displayed. Now, once you purchase your first home, I bought that first one for around 2,000 gold. 1,800 is what all the prices were at. As you can see, to purchase my second one, it would be a lot more expensive. And you also have a 10% um, property tax that is on there that is due once a week. One of the bit, uh, other perks of this is your fast travel. You will This is separate from your in travel and you will have the additional fast travel to your house. It does have a cooldown again also just like your recall to in but it can be beneficial for that alone. But that's still not the biggest perk. The biggest perk is going to be your trophies that you can get. As you can see when you're in here with your decoration mode you have a slot over here on the right side for five trophy buffs. Now each house can hold five trophies and they do stack and they work globally. So if you have three houses in three different territories they will stack with one another and they will work all over the all over the world here. If you level up your furnishing skill, you can make your stuff to put into your housing. There's your storages that you need, um, which add a lot of extra space. And then here also are the trophies that you can add. Probably the biggest and most beneficial one is going to be the luck, because that affects pretty much everything. As you can see, all the different ingredients that you'll need for them. But there are different perks, such as um, giving added damage to corrupt, angry earth, beast and uh, stuff like that like all your different enemies your ancients and then there is different perks for your harvesting and crafting professions so you can have a total of 15 slots for different trophies now you can use five different trophies and stack them all up to three times for a greater benefit like i said probably that luck trophy you would want to put in every single one of your houses because that will affect everything from loot, drops, and chests, everything you open up, even from harvesting and gathering when it comes to rare ingredients. So that's some of the bigger parts. Also, if you own a house in each different settlement, again, it will be a lot easier to get around because of all the different travel options that you will have available to you. As you can see, it's also cheaper to reset your cooldown. So if we teleport to the house here, You can just pay 49 in order to reset your cooldown and that price will go down as the uh, timer goes down as well so you can see that is a cheaper more viable way to travel around when you have your housing another thing about housing is you will never lose your house even if say this territory changes um, the owners or another faction or company take over you will not lose your house. The only way you will lose the perks is if you were to somehow miss your taxes and not pay your taxes on it. As you can see, I owe about 100 gold once a week right now. And that is the only way that you would lose your benefits. And then you'll get them back as soon as you pay your taxes on the property. But that's pretty much all there is to it for housing. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know down below. If I miss anything also, Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. 
And if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like. And as always, for more on New World, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright, well thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.